But spiritual death, yes. So it is the freedom that God has given to us to make choices that please Him. It is the power to say no to sin. So the cross is a powerful symbol of freedom. Freedom to choose for God. Freedom to live for Him. And freedom to say no to sin. And thirdly, it is living every day in hope. We read in Colossians last week, Christ in you, the hope, the hope of, of glory. glory. That I can, as a Christian, in the most difficult circumstances in my life every day, live in hope. I was reflecting on this guy who drank this soap to avoid detention or to avoid deportation. I was thinking about it really, really. I said to myself, wow, how desperate a person can be to go this far. And you know what happened the next day on the newspaper? They said, although he drank soap, to avoid detention, they will be deported with the next plane available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How insensitive can people be? How cruel. Can you imagine doing this to your own child or to your own brother or sister? But I'm not an immigration officer, so I don't think like that. But even in those circumstances, as a believer, you can live in hope. When you read the history of the Christian church, it's a life of hope. There were times where people lost everything. If you read the book of Hebrews, and where the writer to the Hebrews says, look, you are losing your property. You are losing your children. You are being sawn into two. You are being beaten. You are being persecuted. You are being killed. Because of your faith. But have hope. Most of us here live in hope every day. Europe is not your hope. Some of you here, most of us have come here to find work to support our children in school, to send them to colleges, or to send them or to build something, or to take care of our, of, of our sick family members. And we can tend to think that because our employer pays us every month, our employer is our hope. No, your employer is not your hope. God is your hope. And therefore, for us, the cross, is a symbol of hope. It is what makes us stand out in any situation and praise God. And say, yes, I know today is difficult, but my Redeemer lives. So when we sing these worship songs, when we declare these things in praise, it's not just to be happy and to shout and to lift. No, it is to affirm what we believe. The Bible says, if God is for me, then who can be against me? And if God is for you, hello, handsome man. If God is for you, then who can be against you? No one. Therefore, my brother and my sister, let me conclude today by saying that taking your cross is a declaration of being free. Hallelujah. 
Jesus has brought us freedom. He has accomplished this freedom for us. And he has called us to live in it. That is what taking your cross daily and living in it. Someone threatened me, he said to me, Ahmed, you will see. And I said, I will see what? Meaning, I will kill you. Yeah? I said, if you kill me, my family will miss you. I'm sure. Won't you miss me? <laughs> no, they said. They will not. But they say, no, she won't miss me at all. I'm a pain at the moment. <laughs> Teenagers and parents. No? But I said, what can you do to me? He said, you will see. And I go, let me repeat again. What can you do to me? Nothing. You can only take my physical life. But you can't take my life away. I said, you know what? And God bless you, my brother. I am not your enemy. You have an enemy somewhere. Not me. It's, it, is, it is the cross that gives us the freedom. To forgive, to love. And this for me is the life of a Christian. It is not going to church, and this for me is the significance of Easter. It's not about saying I'm a, I'm a good person. No, but by living under the forgiveness of God every day. So today as we end, I want us to pray in a minute. And I want you to search your heart and to say if you have received this forgiveness from God, which you have freely enjoyed, is there someone that you also need to forgive today? <clears throat> Because you can freely give forgiveness as well to another person. If someone has wronged you, have you nursed the hurt? And said, someone said, God punish you. Can you say that? No. May the Lord forgive you. So let's pray this morning. And you think, if you don't have anyone, praise the Lord. But if there's anyone you have something in your heart against this morning, I want us to ask. I want you to forgive them. Because the cross for us is a symbol of forgiveness. Let's pray. Hallelujah.